we're going to start on uh, listing the posts that we get uh, when we cre create them. So we are going to list every single post. It is going to be really quite simple because I don't want to go into uh, all that much about queries right now. I just want to make a simple query to get all of the posts. And then uh, in the next lessons, we'll start uh, going deeper into queries and how we can create uh, more complicated queries. Before carrying on with the video, I just want to let you know that only 20% of you are subscribed to the channel. So if you are enjoying this series and want to see more of it, then please do leave a subscribe down below. It will help you to not miss a single video in the future. So the first thing that we got to do is to simply start Docker. So let's come into the terminal. I mean the project folder and I'm going to do sudo uh, docker compose up build. Uh, and uh, simply run this and it should start uh, compiling the docker and uh, putting everything online so let's just give it a second and it should start running um, in the meantime I'm going to come in here and open up uh, Visual Studio uh, Visual Code better yet let me do a sec yeah it is still running uh, and I'm going to start working on it uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to obviously create a page uh, for listing uh, the posts. For this, I'm going to first of all uh, get um, the router ready. Let me just do something here. Okay, that's better. I'm going to uh, double the create and say list. List. I'm going to remove the capital letters. Yep. And in here is going to be list. Okay. So uh, we are going to create uh, an object for that. And in order to do this, I'm going to double up the create again. Let's say list, list. Okay, just change uh, create for list. Uh, then we need to obviously um, create a file for it. So list.js, I'm going to create it inside post because this is the folder that will contain everything. I'm going to uh, quickly type RCE and I'm using a plugin for this, which is, I believe, this one. Yeah, ES7 uh, React Redux, wherever. Uh, feel free to install it because with it, in order to start a valor plate for um, a component, all you have to do is to type RCE and it automatically creates it, which is awesome. Um, okay, so that part is created. Uh, but now I want to, let me just check if it compiles, it gave an error, I'm going to start it up again. Uh, so uh, now I, I want to improve on the header because the header uh, isn't, doesn't have the login and I want it to have the login and the list uh, part. So I'm going to jump right into the header. And as you can see, we just have create here. So I'm going to quickly uh, create and two copies of it. I'm going to have login, create, and uh, list. So now with the header, we'll be able to uh, go to all of the pages that are relevant to us. Okay, so that's uh, mostly it. Uh, let me just come in here and continue to the next part. So uh, now we are going to actually start uh, coding the list. Uh, for now, uh, all we want to do is make a request to the backend, which will reti retrieve all of the uh, posts that are available in our database. So better yet, let's start with the backend. Let's go into routes. This is just so that you can see what is the structure that we'll have in our request, get request. Let's go down, all the way down, and let's simply uh, create another route, router.route, and I'm going to call it API slash post slash list, close that up, and then it is going to be a get function, obviously. Uh, Oops, uh, my uh, plugin did a lot more than I wanted to. So get function rec res as we did previously. Open that up. 
and there we go we have our route uh, created now we want this route to make a call to a function which will be in our post.js and um, that function will simply fetch all of the data so now that we have our route created i'm going to take care of the um, list post um, function it is a quite a simple uh, function by now we'll make it a lot harder in the next uh, a lot more complicated not harder but in the next lessons but right now it is more than good enough to just have um, a simple function which will retrieve all of the posts for us so new promise Again, remember, this is going to be an asynchronous uh, request because we have to make a fetch to the uh, uh, fetch request to the backend, uh, to the database, sorry. So we must use promises, otherwise it will be really hard to um, use our code. We could use uh, async pro uh, async awaits and asyncs, but that just makes uh, the backend a lot slower and we are uh, wasting resources waiting for something where we can just say okay do this and whenever you're ready just give me a call basically that's that's what a, a promise is, a promise does okay so now let's simply say post model dot find and this is uh, the the function which will get all of the the post for us it is really uh, just this and you don't need anything else so let's say then result this result will contain uh, the json with all of the the objects that the the, the find function finds and we can open curly brackets here and say resolve code 200 and again, remember, I place a lot of information in the resolve and I return a lot of information, but you don't need to return all of this information. You can just uh, pass the JSON along. Success true message posts found uh, success successfully that's right and then uh, we can just uh, return the post list result and this will uh, resolve uh, our uh, posts you can also do a catch here just if something goes bad then we'll know how to do it we, we already did it uh, up top so I'm actually going to simply grab it there's no need to write code that we already did. Uh, fail to list posts. And this will uh, simply reject the promise and say that uh, why that error happened. So the function is quite literally completed. Uh, again, this is a really simple uh, way of finding posts. We are not making any complicated query here, which we'll, we will do in the next lessons. But for now, this is good enough. So we can go into the routes and say post func dot list post. Then go a bit uh, lower results. Mm, open brackets res.json results. And as we've done before, this will just return uh, the data, the, the response back to the front end, uh, to the device that, make, that made the request. Then uh, catch uh, error res .json error. You must you must have the catch because we have um, the um, reject um, part in here. If we didn't use the reject, then you you wouldn't need to. But it is uh, 
a good thing that you are using and you should be using it. Just make sure that no errors happen and that your machine won't crash, your backend won't crash because of it. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we can simply quite literally close the, the backend part and just focus on the front end, which will be uh, really quite simple to do. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do after doing our uh, RCE uh, and it building us our little boilerplate, we'll need a constructor. which will contain props and now super props and now we'll start a state and it created to this I just need one these dot state equals two and we just need a variable to contain all of the posts so uh, an array which will be posts and yeah just place the the brackets there and we are done we have the states and um, the list is initialized how we want it to okay now we need a component did mount this will let us know once uh, this component is ready to to move on and everything is completed all the setup is completed and let's say Axios, which we'll need to import, obviously. So import Axios from Axios. Uh, and I believe we already used it. Let me just check. Yeah, we already use it, so there's no need to uh, install it. Axios. Now, uh, the different thing from uh, when we created a post is that we are not going to use the get function and not the post function get uh, HTTP 127.0.0.1 uh, two points uh, 6200 this is our backend port uh, when we want to go for production this link will be different but for now um, while in development this is more than enough and this is how you have to do it post uh, slash list okay then comma null this is just how you have to do the the get request and then we'll return our result so res and then let posts equals to res dot data dot post list you can just call post list because well uh, this res contains a lot of information of the the request so you have to do it like this res dot data dot post list and this uh, data will contain the information that we got from let me come here that we got from this resolve so as you can see you have post list and we have post list there so if you instead of post list said success for example this will return true if the request was successful okay so that's it uh, post list and then simply say this dot set state posts and that's it then we can simply catch the, the error if there is an error catch yep that's right error and console log error okay this is just for development purposes uh, if you find an error then let me know down in the comment section and i'll try to to help you out okay so now the only we already fetched the data the only thing that's left is to work on the render in order to render uh, the list. This is really quite simple, so in order to do this, I'm going to come in here inside render, because remember, render will be called anytime the set state uh, is called and a variable changes. So uh, after this request is made and the set state is uh, called, uh, it will be automatically uh, called. So let's say let's posts equals to this state 
and this will automatically create a variable posts uh, because posts is this uh, variable here and if you do uh, in, do it inside curly brackets this is a simple way of s creating uh, a variable posts for the render this is local remember uh, and it will find the variable posts that is that is inside this dot state so that's a simple way of doing it then return div and as remember you must have a parent uh, div or whatever other tag you might want to and i'm going to say ul which is an order list and inside here i'm going to uh, write a bit of code which is needed in order to to get it uh, into a map the post into a map and then we can iterate through them and create uh, list items so let's say posts dot map uh, let me see current post you can call it that okay return and uh, this will put it into a map and iterate through them so we get a current post then we have to return uh, the list item so we can say le or li better yet in english <laughs> close that up and then uh, we can simply pass along the the post information so in this case it will be current post dot uh, title uh, let's put um, vertical slash there then i can simply come in here and copy this and you can place uh, whatever information you you want to so description more uh, price per night for example remember these names must correspond uh, exactly like the ones that we have in the model so title description price per night uh, i'm just going to place this once right in, in here just to show you that it works so uh, i'm going to quickly just test the app and come back and show you how everything works and explain and go over it once again so wait a second one hour later okay so here we are i'm in the the browser and i'm in the list uh, page and as you can see it uh, it is listing um, the posts with the title description and the price i i believe that's what i made so let's just test just to show you that it is actually working test simcoder for example number of people five price per night it is going to be an expensive room so let's go for 100 and location let's say new york whatever uh, let's submit go to list and there you go test test simcoder 100 so it is working it is right a really simple query but um, it, it is displaying all of the posts so in the next next lesson we'll probably work on this and try to figure out more complicated queries or we are going to do the um, the page for each post i'm not quite sure uh, i'm probably going to do the page for each post because that's what adds more value to this project at the moment and then we'll start working on uh, making uh, appointments, uh, reserving rooms, and paying for rooms. That's probably the course of action that we are going to take, as it is the most important part of this project. But for now, it is all. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow, and ciao!